Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. You? Good. Good. That's awesome. Let's just start with the class. It's 1 p.m. Good afternoon, okay. teacher. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? Thank you. Well, everything is okay. Thank you for asking. Let's start with the class. Hey, guys, I'm going to pass the attendance, please. As soon as you listen to your names, don't forget to say present, please. Anna please. Ana Maria. Ana Mercedes. Present. Thank you. Andrea. Present. Carmen. Present. Thank you. Daniela. Present. Thank you, Philip. Present, teacher. Emma. Present teacher. Thanks, Esmeralda. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Maria Julio. Gerson. Present. Thank you. Ever. Present. Okay. It is Regina. It is Rosario. Present. Thank you. Jose. Sí. Marcela. María Julia. Marvin. Present teacher. Yeah. Present teacher. Okay. Ovidio. <clears throat> Ovidio is here. Reina. Present. Oh, thank you. Ricardo. Ricardo. Oh, I said, I said Reina. I said me dijo present, pero no la veo por acá, Reina. Reina. Aquí. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Por eso no la he encontrado, porque veo que aparece solo con un nombre y apellido. Ahorita se lo, se lo cambio. Gracias. Yeah, thank you. Ricardo. Uh, Roger. Rosa. Present. Y Sandra. Present. Sara. Present. Silvia. Silvia. Sonia. Stephanie Barona. Stephanie Butter. Presente. Present. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Jennifer. Present, teacher. Thank you. Well, I can see a video. Hello, video. Hello, present. Thank you, Ricardo. I can see you too. Jose, good afternoon. Present teacher. Thank you. I can see who else. Yeah, Anna Imperatriz, hello. Good afternoon. Very good. Okay, creo que estamos bien todos. Sí, todo, todo bien. Eh, thank you, Ricardo. Good afternoon. Okay, bueno, somos, creo que ya estamos todos. Déjenme volver a revisar cualquier cosa. Bueno, voy a hacer algo mejor. Voy a mencionar los que no están. Esmeralda. Iris Regina.
Silvia, Sonia, Stephanie, o que si Iris Regina se está uniendo ahorita. Gracias, Iris Regina. Okay, let's start with the class. Vamos a iniciar. Okay, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? ¿Hemos logrado avanzar? Yes, teacher. Yes. A iniciar el 5, yo. Excelente. Thank you. Si hemos finalizado la cuarta sección, Probablemente, ¿verdad? Como se quiera. Y otros más. Sigamos, ¿verdad? Sigan avanzando. Recuerden que se va a estar reforzando acá. Y cualquier cosita, pues estamos a la orden siempre. Pueden preguntar. Eh, mi grupo, ¿verdad? Como se gusten de forma personal, vamos a pedir la orden. Se les va a estar respondiendo. Probablemente a veces, ¿verdad? No les contesta rápido. Es porque a veces soy, ¿verdad? Eh, las clases, etcétera. Es que... Posiblemente no les conteste en algún momento rápido. ¿verdad? Y en otras ocasiones, pues sí lo hago en ese momento. Pues. Y, bueno, solo hacer el recordatorio, como siempre, en la plataforma, seguir con la sección 4. Si hemos iniciado, sigamos, sigamos, avanzando mucho más. Y, ¿verdad? Siempre asegurémonos de ir eh, parte por parte, por decirlo así. ¿Verdad? Por acá. Seguimos acá, ver los videos, claro, y contestar los foros de discusión también, ¿verdad? Muy importante. Por lo que veo, no hay ahorita comentarios acerca del foro de discusión, el primero de la sección 4. Y hagámoslo, ¿verdad? También el ejercicio de que contestar los foros de discusión, porque son muy importantes. Acá seguimos. Y así, ¿verdad? En orden, en orden, en orden, para que no les vaya a generar ningún inconveniente al final, ¿verdad? Y eso sería para esta semana, como lo mencioné ayer, sección 4. Ya pues vamos poco a poco avanzando y finalizando este módulo. Más o menos semana finalizaríamos todo lo que es el, el módulo municipal de 2. No sé si hay preguntas, dudas, comentarios en general en la plataforma, etc. Yo, teacher, Dígame. Eh, si en, en eso que dice de, de, la, de la discusión, o sea, eso no lo entiendo. ¿Cómo ah, es? ok. Sí, cuando se mira un video, según todos los videos que están acá, que, que son con base en, en los temas que se están viendo, eh, al final, el, el speaker ha estado, ¿verdad?, dando una explicación acerca del tema ejemplos, etcétera, y al final siempre les pide que compartan ¿verdad? sus ideas, ejemplos, o contesten a veces preguntas que él hace. Digamos, el, el tema es preguntas, eh, un caso, preguntas con simple present, por ejemplo, y les pide, ¿verdad? O, o les da una pregunta al final, les pide que den su respuesta, ¿verdad? posiblemente, otro... Otro posible ¿verdad? escenario podría ser que él está, en ese caso, el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Lo vimos ayer. Al final, posiblemente les pida, como vimos nosotros, ¿verdad? También lo practicamos ayer, les pida likes and dislikes, como lo hicimos ayer, ¿verdad? O sea, eso les pide, básicamente, eso les pide, según el script. Ajá, exacto. Y expresen su. Hacer ejercicios. Exacto, como lo que hicieron ayer. Las ideas acá en la prueba de discusión. Usted como que está como, como comentando, ¿verdad? Una foto, eh, por ejemplo, en redes sociales. Así va a ser. Un comentario que iba a compartir sus su respuestas. Ok, dicho. Gracias. Yes. Igual que, eso es lo que tienen que hacer en la de discusión. Estaba observando en otros, en las secciones anteriores, y veo que los han respondido. En el caso de ese, no veo que han respondido todavía. Y aquí me aparecen los comentarios. De que bueno, la invitación es esa, ¿verdad? Que podamos practicar también de esa forma, podamos contestar la propia discusión con base en, en lo que el video o la persona está explicando. 
Así es que esa es otra parte muy importante en la plataforma. ¿Alguien más? ¿Preguntas? O sea que la plataforma en general. No. Bueno, creo que no. No hay más preguntas. He estado observando que no han hecho muchas preguntas, ¿verdad? Lo digo de esa forma, ¿verdad? No han hecho muchas preguntas en, la, en, el, en el grupo perdón, de WhatsApp acerca de los ejercicios. Eso, ¿verdad? Me, me quiere decir que vamos muy bien, ¿verdad? No hemos tenido ninguna dificultad. Eso es muy bueno, ¿verdad? Claro, si surge alguna duda o algún ejercicio que nos está dando problemas, pregunten sin dudarlo, ¿verdad? Sin pena. A veces por pena nos preguntamos. Bueno, solamente eso. El recordatorio siempre de seguir avanzando. Please. Vamos a seguir. Solo déjenme verificar si alguien más se ha unido. No, creo que solamente Iris Regina fue la última que se unió, ¿verdad? Gracias, nombre, güey. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Awesome. Pretty good, thank you. Pretty okay. good. Yes. Okay, the topic for today is some and any count and non-count nouns. This is class number 10. Today is Tuesday, March 29th. Let's start. Okay, this is what you have in your books, right? In your manuals, your manuals. Uh, we have some ideas, some examples with this, you know, specific forms, right? Some and any. Remember, as we saw in the previous classes, with the in the arm, remember, some and any are quantifiers or expressions of quantity. Como lo lo quieran llamar. Las dos formas son válidas. Expressions of quantity, or we can say quantifiers. Lo mismo. They, they help us to express quantities, right? Quantities. Uh, some and any are the same. They have the same meaning. But the difference is that we use it differently in the statements, right? The sentences and the questions, right? Son similares, lo que cambia es la forma, right? Como los utilizamos en las estructuras. Because some is used in affirmative form. And any is using negative in questions. You can say, do we need any X? Do we need any X? So as you can see, we're using any because it's a question. Do we need any X? Remember that summon any, summon any, well, yeah, let's say summon any. We're referring to a, what, let's say some things, right? Like, let's say three, from three to seven things, right? For example, if I say, let me see, if I have here, yeah, I have some. Okay, if I say, right, I have some pens, I have some pens. Can you see my pants? Yeah, I think so. I'm saying. Okay. Por el, porque por el fondo no se mira bien. I have some pants, right? So I said some because I'm not specific, right? No soy específico. So I, I say I some I have some pants. I have some pants. But if I say I have three pants, it's different, right? That is specific. Yeah, in ese caso sería specific. I have three pants. Three pants. Okay, that is a specific. But if you want to say, or you don't want to be a specific, you can say, I have some pants. Si no queremos, si queremos ser específico, no queremos ser específico, perdón, we can say, I have some pants. And I'm referring to three, from three to, well, we can have more, right? 10 things, etc. I can have 10 pants, and I can say, I have some pants, right? I have some pants. So that is the meaning of some and any. From any. In affirmative, of course, we, we express, right? I, I can say, I have, I have, 
I have some pens. And I'm referring to, in my case, I have three pens, right? That is the explanation in parentheses. Esa sería la, la explicación, ¿verdad? Posiblemente en, en lo que sea en paréntesis. ¿verdad? I have some pens. I have some pens, right? Three pens, specifically. Okay, that is the way. And this is an affirmative. I have some pens. If you want to say negative, yes. Teacher, o sea que cuando no queremos decir la cantidad de cosas, qué sé yo, vamos a decir some. O yeah, any. yeah. You, you have the quantifiers, the expressions of quantity, expressions of the cantidad. You can use them. Right now, specifically, specifically, we're going to see some and any, right? But, but we have more. Tenemos más, más expresiones de cantidad. Por el momento, solo vamos a ver esas. Pero más adelante, ustedes van a ir viendo más. Well, specifically, we will see some, any, and we will see the articles A and M, right? A and M. Pero okay. son, son es algunos, ¿o no? Exactly, exactly. exactly. Y en y ninguno. Mm, it, it depends. It depends. If it is negative, yes. If it is negative, yes. I don't have, for example, in my case, I don't have any books. I don't have any books. No books, for example. No books. I don't have any books. But if you use it in question, it's different because you're asking for some, right? Did you have any books? So in this case, you want to know, right? You want to know if you, if somebody, someone has, right, books. Did you have any books? Acá es diferente. Significa lo, tiene su, su significado similar. But when you're using negative, you say no books, right? No books. But if, if there is any, you're asking for books. For example, do you have any books? I can say, right, I have the books. What about if I ask somebody else, right? Imagine that I ask Marvin, Marvin, do you have any books? Yes, I have yep. five books, for example. Imagine that Marvin tell, do you have any books, Marvin? Yes, I have two books. Okay, two books. Look, that is the way. That is the way. Did you have any books? We're asking for the object, right? The object. The object. In negative means no books, right? No books. I can say, I don't have any books. It means that I don't like reading, right? Significa que no, posiblemente no me gusta leer. Tengo libros, okay? I have some pens, or I have some books. I have some books. I like reading, right? Or I want to know if Marvin has books. Do you have any books? Yes, I have two books, okay? That is the way. Does it make sense? Questions? Preguntas? Sí, yo tengo una. Dame. Según veía en el video de esta clase, según entendí, también some puede usarse cuando hay negativo. Do you need uh, some eggs, for example. Again? Do we need some eggs? Okay, yes, absolutely. There is a question, is, uh, si se, Walter. Si se puede. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, we tend to vary. In, in questions, we can use some or any, but only in questions. Uh, for example, I can say, would you like some coffee, some coffee, or you can say, would you like any coffee? It's okay. Okay. Yeah. O sea, some sí puede utilizarse en ambas, pero any es solo para negativos y preguntas. Exactly. And some okay. can be used in questions too. Yeah. Okay. 
Yes. Gracias. You're welcome. Oh, claro, en esos casos. Me. Yeah, Tom. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, you're welcome, sorry. <laughs> es que aún se me sale al español. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Eso, eso sucede. Siempre sucede cuando uno inicia. Me pasa a mí también. <laughs> no se preocupe. Okay, some and any, you can use it in questions. It's okay, there are some cases uh, in which people use some. Would you like some coffee? Or would you like any coffee? Both are correct, both are correct. Very good. But remember that we use any in negative in questions and we use some with affirmative. Okay. So wait, well, here we have more examples. Do we need any X? Yes, and let's get some. I said some, it's not necessary to say X again, right? That's why it's in parentheses. You can say just, yes, let's, let's get some, just that, okay? Ya podemos decirlo solo así, omitir X. Ya sabemos que estamos hablando de eso. Para no repetirlo, solo decimos, let's get some. Or, no, we don't need any. Just like this. Of course, if you want to include X at the end, it's okay, you can do it. Yes, let's get some X. Or, no, we don't need any X. Both are correct. Por eso es en paréntesis, porque se puede agregar o no. Si lo quiero emitir, lo puedo emitir. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some. Or yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any, any, just like this, right? Or no, we don't need any bread. Okay? That is the way for questions. And remember, we use in questions any. Any, we're using ne in affirmative some, in negative we use any, right? Then we have count nouns or non-count nouns, countable and uncountable nouns, the same, countable and uncountable nouns. As I explained, I remember in one of the classes before, uh, I was explaining this, right? The way we use countable and uncountable nouns. But recuerdo que les estaba explicando un poquito, ¿verdad? Poco acerca de ese tema. Now we will see it, right? Contable nouns or count nouns. They are used when you want to count things, right? You say egg, an egg, two x, three x, four x. A sandwich, a sandwich. One sandwich, two sandwiches, three sandwiches, four sandwiches, etc. We can count the nouns, right? We can call them countable nouns, count nouns, it's the same. Are used to, uh, to express things that we can count. Right. For example, you can say one apple, two apples, three apples, we can continue, right? We can continue. I can say one book, three books, four books, five books, etc. okay? So some countable nouns are apple, pencil, computer, banana, you can say a cell phone, dollar, Send, etc. Right? Those are countable nouns. Again, we can say one pencil, two pencils, three pencils, five pencils, ten pen pencils, etc. Those are countable nouns because we can count them with our fingers, right? One, two, three, four, five. Countable nouns or count nouns is the same. Count nouns. Es lo mismo. Es lo mismo. Okay, questions over here? Questions? No, teacher. No, no question. No, we, we count our nouns, we can, we use A and N, right? 
these are quantifiers too. A or N, these are articles, and these ones are expressions of quantity because these ones help us to express or to, uh, yeah, to mention singular nouns, singular nouns, right? You say, right, an apple, you say a computer, a pen, a class, etc. So it's one, only one, only one. We use this expression as a quantity. It's, it's some of the expression of the quantity that I mentioned. Acá la tenemos, ¿verdad? An egg, a sandwich, one, only one. Okay. And of course, we have plural, right? Plural nouns. So the plural nouns, you know, can be like apples, computers, pens, glasses, etc. In these cases, we don't use article, right? We don't use article because this is, these ones are in plural and these ones are in singular. We use A or N. That is the way. Those are countable nouns. Countable nouns. When you have uncountable nouns, it's different, right? Because uncountable nouns, countable nouns are used to express things that you cannot count. So it's the opposite, right? We cannot count the uncountable nouns. We cannot count them. Some examples are, right? Honey, milk, water, traffic, water. Yes, rice. de plural en donde puso computer es así. No, yes. sorry, I forgot the yes. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Computers. Yeah, I forgot the yes. Thank you. Uncountable nouns, we cannot count them. We can say, for example, money. One money, two money, three money. No, that is incorrect. Uh, with water, for example, we, we cannot say one water, two waters, three waters, right? That is not correct. Even in Spanish, we, you know, it's not correct. Grammatically, it's not correct. Incluso en español no, no es correcto. Gramaticalmente decir un agua, dos aguas, tres aguas. Sin embargo, lo decimos porque ya estamos acostumbrados, ¿verdad? Es el léxico. Pero en teoría, gramaticalmente es incorrecto decir eso. Pero así como nosotros lo decimos, ¿verdad? Así es que sigamos así, ¿verdad? No hay ningún problema. Yo, incluso uno, ¿verdad? A veces lo dice, porque yo... Lo he dicho, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso ya es, así somos los salvadoreños. Pero gramaticalmente es incorrecto. No podemos decir one water, two waters, three waters. Even with pizza, right? Lo, lo explicaba la vez pasada. Pizza también gramaticalmente es un sustantivo no contable. Because you cannot say one pizza, two pizzas, three pizzas. Sin embargo, es el contraste, ¿verdad? Lo decimos, ¿verdad? En español, incluso en inglés lo dicen. Con pizza, tu pizza, tres pizzas. Y no está mal, ¿verdad? De forma de speaking, ¿verdad? Hablada. Pero de forma gramatical, sí. De forma gramatical, aclaro. That's why pizza is uncountable. But if you want to transform, sorry. Por ejemplo, las bebidas solamente quizás se podrían contabilizar si fueran por, por litros. Exactly. Eso es lo que quería mencionar. But if you want to use the liquids as contable nouns, you can. For example, if you want to refer to water, you can say a bottle of water. So in this case, it's contable. This is it. Convierte en contable. A bottle of water. Eso sería lo correcto, ¿verdad? Aunque en español suena algo extraño, ¿verdad? Quiero una botella de agua. Bueno, no tanto, pero igual. Incluso con, con pizza, ¿verdad? A box of pizza. Aquí se convierte en contable. A box, a box of pizza. Alguien me decía la vez pasada, no sé si fue con, con, con ese grupo o fue con otro. 
una caja de pizza, pero me la van a dar vacía. <ríe> sí, probablemente, ¿verdad? Suena extraño el, el, la forma. But that is correct, grammatically. Grammatically is correct. Or a slice pizza. A slice pizza. En este caso, pues ya es la, la porción, ¿verdad? Slice of pizza. This is countable. But pizza itself is uncountable. La palabra pizza en, 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 uh, por sí sola es no contable. And that's why we don't say a pizza, we don't say, uh, you, well, we can say some pizza. It's correct. Pizza. In that case, it's correct. Yes? Questions? We can say some pizza. Eh, we can say a lot of, for example, it's another so, so, so expression de cantidad. A lot of water. So we tend to accompany the, the expressions of quantity with the uncountable nouns. Tendemos a hacer eso, ¿verdad? Esa unión de expresiones de cantidad con los sustantivos no contables. But we cannot say a water. No, because water is for countables, for singular nouns. Singular, listen, countable nouns, specifically. Okay. Uh, yes, I think someone has a question, no? And that's what we say, right? Bread, we don't say a bread. No, uh, we say bread. Lemonade, we don't say a lemonade, we say lemonade lemonade. But if we say a glass of lemonade, it's different. Si decimos así, si es diferente, a glass of lemonade. This case is countable. But if we say lemonade, it's uncountable. Uncountable. Okay? Incluso con pan, ¿verdad? Pan, nosotros decimos, nos damos pan, dos panes. De panes, ¿verdad? Esa es la forma como lo decimos, claro. Pero de forma gramatical, está incorrecto. Entonces, Pero, ¿cómo deberíamos de decir si queremos que nos pasen pan, por ejemplo? Dame una porción de pan. Ah, ok. Yeah. Yes. That is the way. Hay otras formas también. Esa sería la forma. Por ejemplo, cuando lo compramos, <laughs> decimos un dólar de pan. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That is the way. I mean, esa es la forma como lo, nosotros lo decimos, ¿verdad? Y pues ya nos acostumbramos, que no, no lo cambiemos, digamos. <laughs> Pero de forma gramatical sí sería, eh, yo me lo digo gramatical, ¿verdad? Porque aquí vemos bastante la, la gramática. Y... Eh, es que, por ejemplo, si estamos escribiendo un texto académico que sabemos que es formal, no debe escribirse así. Eh, you, you don't have to say, for example, es un ejemplo. Eh, I want a water, for example. Es un ejemplo. ¿verdad? Una estructura, pequeña estructura, digamos que la incluimos en el texto. I want a water. No. Eh, según el caso del texto académico, sería incorrecto. Can say I want some water. Different. Okay. It, we use we use you know a or n specifically a or n. These these ideas convert into a specific things, right? You can say I'm eating an egg, or let's get some bread. That is a specific. But if you say, in general, you say eggs are good for you. That is general, general. And now we have plural, right? This is a plural noun, eggs. In general, in general. Bread is good for you. Bread is good for you. Bread is general in this case, right? Because we're talking about the, a variety of bread, right? En ese caso general, porque estamos hablando de diverso tipo de pan, ¿verdad? Bueno, va a depender también, ¿verdad? De qué tipo de pan, pero... Bread is good for you. 
all right? So these are countable and uncountable nouns, or count nouns, non-count nouns. And we're using some, any, a or m. Questions? Is everything okay? Todo bien hasta el momento? Teacher, en este caso de, con, de contable now que está an ace y ace, tiene que decir an ace también, algunos huevos, o es solamente no. an ace. Sorry, sorry. Eh, you cannot say an ex. You cannot uh -huh. say an ex. Because an is for singular nouns. You can say just an egg. An egg. X is a, it's a plural. X is a plural. Ya no se pondría el an, solo no. ex. Ex, exactly. Sí, esa era la duda. Yeah, se me olvidó detallar eso. Que acá mm -hmm. está el singular y el plural. An egg, mm -hmm. ex. We don't use a again, because it's plural. A sandwich, then we say sandwiches. We don't say, we don't say a sandwiches, no. Because it's plural. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. good? Well, let me give you more vocabulary because we need to advance. Uh, we have here countable and uncountable nouns. Or non or count nouns and non-count nouns. It's the same. Count nouns, or count, and non-count nouns. Es lo mismo. Countable and uncountable nouns or count and non-count nouns. Okay, we have some uncountable nouns like bond, sandwich. Apple, orange, burger, fries, eggs, salad, vegetables, cookies, potatoes, tomato, carrot, a dog, candies, olives, peanuts, pancakes, onions, watermelon, tea, grapes, and cherries. Those are countable nouns. Uncountable nouns, we have bread, fruit, juice, meat, rice, cereal, jam, jam, milk, coffee, sugar, sugar, flour, flour, Oil, oil, salt, salt, two, two, tea, tea, cottage, cheese, cottage, cheese, pasta, pasta, honey, honey, water, water, cheese, cheese, Butter, we have butter, but I cannot see the, 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 the letters. Butter, shrimp, mustard, mustard. Let me fix it. Oh, yeah. Oh, shrimp or oh, seafood, it's okay. Shrimp or seafood. Seafood is in general, right? Seafood. Okay. Have any questions? Vamos bien hasta acá. Yes. Questions? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, contable nouns. Listen and repeat. Bond. Bon. Bon. Sandwich. Bon. Sandwich. 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 Apple. 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 Orange. 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 Burger. Orange. Burger. 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 Fries. 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 Eggs. 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 Salad. Baseballs. Baseballs. Cookies. 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 Potatoes. 
Potatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes. Tomatoes. 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 Carrot. 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 Hot dog. Carrot. Candies. 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 Olives. Olives. Clarification because you say olives. 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 Peanuts. Peanuts. Pancakes. Peanuts. Pancakes. Onion. 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 Watermelon. Watermelon. Bee. Bee. Grapes. Grapes. Cherries. Cherries. Uncountable nouns. Bread. 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 Fruit. 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 Juice. Juice. Meat. 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 Rice. 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 Cereal. 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 Jam. 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 Milk. 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 Sugar. Sugar. Flour. Flour. Oil. Oil. Salt. 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 Tea. Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Pasta. 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 Honey. 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 Water. 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 Cheese. 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 Butter. 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 Mustard. 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 Yes. Very good. Well, thank you. Do you have any questions again about the vocabulary? Questions? Preguntas? una pregunta Amén. curiosidad en el caso de los pancakes que me fascinan los pancakes pues tenemos varios ¿por qué pueden entrar en los countables? o los peanuts por ejemplo ah ok it's, it's because you know you have right you have different portions right or different pieces of this ah. yeah okay. that's right do you want a pancake? Exactly, you can say. Do you want oh, a pancake? Okay. You can. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You walk in, somebody else? Preguntas, se hagan preguntas, se preguntas, se dudas. No, question. No, okay. Thank you. Well, let me give you some examples. This is the way we use a and some and any. These are quantifiers or expressions of quantity. If you don't want to be right, like a specific, I mean, you want to you, you want to say right. I have four books, for example. If you want, if you don't want to be like specific, you can use these quantifiers, right? You can use some, for example. I have some. Well, I can say I have four books, for example. I can say that. Or I can say I have some books. I say I have some I have some books because I don't know specifically, right? How many books do I have? Podría ser, ¿verdad? 
no estoy seguro cuántos libros tengo. ¿Qué pasa? A veces se nos olvidan las cosas. So you say, I have some books. Right? So you're not specific, right? You can say. Oh, in a way, you're specific, right? You're specific, but you are not saying, right, a number. No estamos diciendo exactamente un número, un número. For example, with A or N, we use, you know, we use these forms for singular nouns, right? We can say a car, countable singular noun, right? But you cannot say, or you cannot use A or N for countable nouns or uncountables. No, it's not possible. So in any, we cannot use them, right? With countable singular nouns. No, we can't. We can say some cars, right? It's different. Some cars, a noun is plural. Some cars, any cars, some milk, if it is uncountable, any milk. But we cannot say a, a cars, for example, a cars. No, we cannot say a milk. No. Okay. How do we use how do we use these um, you know forms in sentences? You can say I have some questions for you. I have some questions for you. Right? If you use some, this is an affirmative, right? If you use any, you say, is there any sugar in the jar? We don't have any problems, right? We have a question and we have a negative sentence. Again, with affirmative, some. I have some questions for you, right? I have some, I would say, I have some uh, soda in the fridge, right? I have some soda in the fridge. You can say, right, I have, I have a dog, I have a dog. So we're using A, right, and dog. In negative or well, questions, you can say, is there any sugar in the jar? Or you can say, is there any water in the refrigerator? Any, because it's a question. In some cases, you can do some, as you know, Walter was asking me, is there some water in the refrigerator? It's okay. Most of the times we use any, right? We don't have any problems that is negative. We don't have any problems. Listen, we use some in questions when you, this is a clarification, Walter. We use some in questions when you offer or ask for something. In that case, you can use some when you ask for something or you offer. For example, in your houses, right? When you get a, you, you have a guest in su casa, cuando tenemos un invitado, ¿verdad? We offer things, right? For example, would you like some soda? Would you like some soda? In this case, aplica, Walter and everybody. Some soda. So this is our offer. This is our offer. Ahí estamos ofreciendo algo. So you can use some. You can use some. Another possibility can be, let me see. Ah, can I have some tea? Or can I have some coffee? So in this case, you're asking for something. Ask for something. Acá estamos pidiendo algo. Right? Can I have some coffee? We use some. In this case, we use some, Walter. In everybody. When you offer it, but you ask for something. Okay? Well, this is basically, guys, the way we use some, any, a, and an with countable and uncountable nouns, or count nouns and non count nouns. Any questions? Is the topic clear? Preguntas? Estamos bien? ¿Hay alguna duda? No, teacher, ya con esto último que explicó de, de en qué sí se puede usar, ya clarifica mi, mi pregunta que tenía. Excelente. Let me give you more examples. I have some, some pets, right? I can say, my sister 
has a cat. A car, it's okay. Mm, there are some, some books on the desk. I can say, I have an apple in my backpack. And so here we just in some, a, some, and an, in affirmative, in affirmative. In negative, you can say, right, I don't have it. I don't have any brothers. Um, my brother doesn't have a, a computer, for example. There isn't any, let's say, any traffic in San Salvador. And I can say, for example, my parents don't have a, a, say a motorcycle, motorcycle, okay? So here we're using any, a, any, and a, okay? And with questions, we can say, right, do you have any, Brothers, no, also sisters. Do you have any sisters? Um, another possibility can be, is there a pencil on the table? Does your mother have any, say, any what? Any, yeah, any shoes? Does your mother have any shoes? And the last one I will say, is there a, is there a, is there a class in the morning? So we use an any because it's a question. We use an A, any, and A. Right. That is why. I will send this in the chat. So let me know if you have some questions, please. Questions? Preguntas? No me deja compartirlo. Bueno, te quiero saber si hay preguntas. Quiero compartir. No se me deja. Preguntas? Hello, no lo escucho. No question, teacher. For me, no, teacher. No. No question. Okay, yes, you can, Walter. <laughs> yes, you can. That is the way. Can I go get some coffee? Yes, you can. <laughs> Very good. Okay, we're going to practice. We're going to practice with this topic. Let me just send this in the chat. Can I be No me deja todo. Okay, let's practice with the following exercises. Okay, what I want to do, I need you to look at these exercises. I need you to complete the sentences using, you know, some, any, count, and non-count nouns. 
You have to write in these statements a, and, some, or any. Okay. Ah, okay, Ricardo, it's okay. Thank you. No se preocupe. Después puede copiarlo, ¿verdad? Eh, tome capturas o después puede ver la clase nuevamente, el video, para copiar. Okay, I need you to write a, and, some, or any in these statements, right? In these sentences. I need you to read every statement or question and you have to select a, and, some, or any. For example, let me help you with the first two. Number one says, look, look, there is elephant and tiny mouse in the cage. What are the answers, Tommy? There is a and some or any. An elephant. An elephant, exactly. An elephant and mm -hmm. A and some or any. A. A, exactly, a tiny mouse in the cage. So for the first exercise, the answers are an and a. Very good. Number two, I will, I will give you number two and then you continue with the other ones. Number two says, there aren't penguins in the zoo, but there are monkeys. A. There aren't a and some or any. Um. Um. Any. 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 Okay. Any. Yeah, in this case, it's any because we have penguins. It's in plural. We cannot say on penguins. Any penguins because it's plural. In the zoo. What? There are. A some. and some, okay. Some monkeys. Very good. There aren't any penguins in the zoo, but there are some penguins. Some monkeys, sorry. Some monkeys. These are the answers. Very good. Okay. Now I need to continue with the other ones, please, in your notebooks. Let's go with number three until number 12. Let me send the responses for the first ones, for the first two, sorry. Voy a compartir las respuestas de las dos primeras y sigamos con las otras. In your notebooks. Okay. Any questions? Preguntas? Está muy bien lo que... Bueno, está muy claro lo que vamos a hacer. Yes, all clear. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and start working in your notebooks. Have to use a and some or any or any in all the sentences you have two responses right two answers in todas las no no en todas en algunas la mayoría tienen que utilizar dos respuestas en algunas es que tenemos solamente verdad para la redundancia solo una tenemos solo una respuesta algunas
Well, guys, listen, it's 2, 2 p.m. Um, we're going to start right here, but I would like you to complete the sentences in your notebooks. As soon as you complete, I will ask you to share your responses through the WhatsApp group, okay? Are you to, you know, go on working, successes? If you have some questions, let me know. And when you complete, please send us your responses in the WhatsApp group, okay? Vamos a quedarnos acá. Les voy a pedir de favor que sigamos trabajando los ejercicios para poder practicar y podamos compartir nuestras respuestas, por favor, al grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, vamos a hacer lo posible mañana para eh, responder cada una. Si tenemos el espacio, puede responderla. Si no, le puede estar ¿verdad? compartiendo las respuestas en el grupo también. ¿Ok? ¿Any questions? Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher, no question. No, ok. Any questions. Bien, bueno, well, eh, it's a pleasure. Lo que quiero es que sigamos practicando, por favor, con esos ejercicios. Si podemos hacer, ¿verdad? Aparte, a eh, ya para nuestra, para nuestra práctica, hacer más ejemplos, hagamos, ¿verdad? Para, para practicar mucho más. Eh, sigamos, por favor, practicando y completando la plataforma, please. Vamos a sacarnos hasta acá. La hora ya es hora. Eh, well, if you have some questions, let me know, please. Thank you guys for being here. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Stay safe and God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, Bye, teacher. teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Sure. Sure. Happy day. Thank you. Same to you. Bye-bye.